it's Nicole and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am working from home today because it has been so snowy here in Vancouver. I can't remember the last time we had so much snow and it's March 1st currently and spring is only like 21 days away. I just can't believe there's so much snow. I was expecting flowers to be popping up and blooming now. But anyways, I am about to make some lunch. I've got this low carb, high protein ramen by Imi. Maybe that's how you say it. I am am I gonna make that for lunch pop an egg in it and I've got some leftover veggies I'm just boiling the water now for the ramen and my egg I just read the instructions and I guess you're supposed to cook the ramen in the hot water but then actually do the whole adding the seasoning packet and everything in just the bowl I guess because of the high protein low carb nature of the noodles they are not as structured so I will show you that in a little bit but while I'm waiting for my water to boil I wanted to sit down and chat today has just been a high anxiety day for me and it's one of those days where I can't really pinpoint my anxiety I mean, I mean, I guess I can to some extent. I've been stuck inside because of the snow and not physically being at my workplace can make me quite anxious sometimes because I'm so used to being in the office all the time when I have to stay at home and work. I feel like I'm having FOMO. I'm missing out on everything that's going on in the office even though I know that I'm not. So there's that. And this morning I was jolted awake by my anxiety because I remembered something that I forgot to do yesterday, which was very important. I got it done in the end, but it it just left me feeling anxious and I've been trying to do a morning routine but I just didn't do that. It was like the anxiety had me paralyzed and just on my phone all morning so that was that. During work I just got so focused on all my work. I totally worked through until the time when I typically eat lunch and now I'm just feeling shaky from having not eaten and I'm sorry to put you through this whole roaster of complaints but I'm just wondering if anyone else can relate to having anxious days like these. I'm still pushing through it but now back to the whole point of why I sat down here. While I'm waiting for my water to boil I want to do a card pull from the Rose Oracle deck. I've done a couple of card pulls from this deck so far and they've been very soothing. The messages are very comforting. I've been finding like the pick a card tarot readings and pulling cards from this deck very comforting in a way. I kind of treat them like I treat astrology readings that you see in the newspaper or wherever people find astrology readings. Like it's fun to read into them and think about how they apply to your own life but I don't know if I fully believe that they dictate everything that's going to happen or anything like that. I guess what I'm saying is is will I have fun? With the tarot card readings I always treat them with a grain of of salt and they are very comforting to me. Often the messages give me a chance to kind of think outside of all the mess that's going on in my head and reflect on good things that are happening. So while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I wanted to pull a card and see what spirit has in store for me. for my lunch to cool a bit before I dive in. Let's see what card I got. I got the card after the rain. After I pull a card, I like to look up the meaning of it in the guidebook. I of course don't know all the meanings off of heart, but I will read out the meaning of this card to you as well. Let's see, after the rain. After the rain, silver lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over, acceptance. There's something very special and sacred about the moment after it stops raining. The atmosphere has released all that it was holding and in turn the earth has been cleansed, replenished and nourished. It's a similar feeling to the moment after we stop crying. As those salty healing waters fall, they activate oxytocin and endorphins, which create a shift in how we feel. What was once overwhelming now seems possible. And while we may not know it consciously, noticeable growth will soon follow. After the rain is all about hope, healing, beginnings, and endings. Emotions are soothed. Broken hearts are on the mend. Times of trial are over. Mercy can be felt. There's a moment of relief. A new, encouraging silver lining can now be made out in the distance. What's been challenging and difficult has or is about to ease up. 
If you've been going through a challenging time, this card is here to reassure you that things are about to ease. You've been through the worst of it and now hope is here. In these past weeks, months, or even years, haven't been straightforward. They've likely asked you to dig deep and endure hardships that have tested you. But now, at long last, there are smooth seas ahead. What you've learned and how you've grown can never be taken from you. And now it's time to enjoy the warmth of the blessings that life has in store for you. Glorious new beginnings are now possible. Soul in Query, what are you ready to release? Well, I found that message to be very comforting. Um, I have been going through a hard time in the past couple of weeks, months, however long it's been. And in my last vlog, I did say that I felt myself coming out of it. So I feel like this card was a very appropriate message. But like I said, I take these things with a grain of salt, even though I do find the words very comforting and soothing. It's like reassurance that everything's gonna be all right. And now let's try out this ramen. I am always a little bit skeptical about these low carb products, but they are good for my health, so I'm going to give it a try. I need to grab a spoon. Back with my spoon and let us give these noodles a try. The texture is weird, definitely not like regular instant noodles. They are very mm, spongy, I'll say. Grab some noodle, grab some soup. Let's give it a try. I will say they are pretty good. The texture is kind of a little bit weird, but it definitely has a very nice chew to it, which you don't often get in these kinds of products. And the soup has a good flavor. I was hoping it would taste more like the Shin Ramen beef noodle spicy soup base, but it tastes more like a Chinese beef brisket kind of thing with a bit of star anise, but overall it's pretty good. I'm going to devour these and get back to work. Work is all done for the day. I just spent the last hour or so putting the finishing touches on the video that's gonna go up this Friday and adding captions to it. With all of the snow recently, my husband and I have not had an opportunity to go out to the grocery store to get some groceries. So I have been making every effort possible to use whatever we have in the fridge. Last night I made us these burger bowls basically because I just had two random patties in our freezer, some hash browns and some like greens and tomatoes I needed to use up so I threw those all together. It was just like a random make what you can from the fridge meal but today I'm very stumped. I do have a freezer full of things and a big pile of cucumbers here. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to make. So I found some frozen chicken and then these single serve pizzas. I don't know, I need to do some thinking. Good morning. The snow has mostly melted, so I'm going to attempt to go into work today. I'm a little bit nervous to pull out of my garage because there's a big pile of snow, but I'm hoping I can just drive through it. I am a bit of a nervous driver, so anything I can do to help me relax in the car always helps me out. Typically, I listen to the radio to give my mind a little something to distract me, but recently I've been really annoyed by some of the radio ads. So I have been listening to old albums from high school that I absolutely loved, and it's so much fun to just sing my heart out to them on my way to work. So this morning I'm going to be putting in all time lows, put up or shut up, and hopefully that'll get me through my drive to work. Back home for the evening after a long day of work, but it was nice to be back in the office and working and seeing all my coworkers again after a couple days of being away from the office. Just about to heat up some leftovers for dinner. It's the same curry as last night, and then I'm gonna make another cucumber salad, and then it is time to relax and unwind. Recently, I started my own playthrough of Cyberpunk. I'm playing it on easy mode because I really suck at games like that, but it's been a lot of fun so far and a Good way to unwind for the evening. Just have some fun, mess around in a game. Anyways, I'm gonna go make dinner now and check in with you later.
Good morning and happy Friday. I'm about to do a workout by Chloe Ting because I feel the need to work my muscles this morning. It's Friday, last work day before the weekend, so let's go to work. This morning, I'm listening to The Academy Is Fast Times at Barrington High. I consider this to be like my ultimate high school album. It's just got a lot of songs that make me think about graduating that last year of high school. Um, definitely not rumored nights, if you know what I mean. <laughs> gonna pop this in. Also, I totally forgot to mention that I just have this sweet CD player in my car. I can use an aux cable as well, but I haven't figured that out yet. But look, I can hold six tracks and that's six CDs to bop to on my way to work. Okay, let's go. Tonight for dinner, I got some of my favorite takeout. It is mogu chicken, Japanese fried chicken, a very nice treat for the end of the work week. So I think for tonight, now that work is done, I'm just going to relax and unwind. We're going to enjoy our dinner. Maybe I'll play some more cyberpunk or maybe we're going to go watch a movie. I'm not sure yet. Now to enjoy dinner. I have just been editing a video all morning. Editing my morning away. That's okay. I'm trying to get caught up on video editing or at least get ahead of it so I can focus a bit more on writing this week. I just made breakfast. Just some baked beans from a can, scrambled eggs with green onion and some bacon. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast while I continue to edit and I will see what I get up to from there. I don't have any solid plans for today other than to finish editing this video and maybe cleaning my bathroom. Exciting. Just getting changed now out of my pajamas. I have been editing for the past however many hours. I started at 8 a.m. It's now like 2.30 or maybe closer to 3. I'm not sure. Anyways, my husband and I are going to go out now because all week I have really been wanting a bubble tea. I've really been craving an Earl Grey bubble tea. But without the bubbles, if that makes sense, I just want the Earl Grey tea liquid. So we're gonna go and do that. And while I'm out, I also want to try and find a card. I'm meeting up with a very special friend tomorrow. I'm so excited to meet her and I want to get her a card just to say thank you for being my friend and to let her know how much I appreciate her. So I'm hoping I will find something very cute while I'm out and that's what I'm going to be up to this afternoon. Let's go. was able to pick up a very lovely card for my friend which I'm going to write in in a second and I also found these two really cute cats they are fortune flowering cats is what they're called and basically I think inside there is a little fortune if you open up the sticker and then there is also a little packet of seeds so you can literally plant your fortune and I thought it was so cute because we're both working on our novels that we started in NaNoWriMo that I could give her one and then I could keep one too and they would be like our little lucky charms. So I hope she likes them. And I totally forgot to do this yesterday to mark off the exercise I did and give myself a sticker. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And isn't this month of March so pretty with the daffodils? I give myself a little sticker when I do more exercise than just my 10 minutes a day, which I did on Friday.
Good morning. Today is the day I am meeting my friend Lindsay from the channel Studio Lindsay. We've been planning to meet up for a while now and I'm so excited that today is the day we're gonna go to Granville Island and get some lunch and probably walk around and have some fun there. I am super excited but I'm also very nervous. As you know I am an anxious person but I'm also just so excited to meet her but that comes with the like nervous excitement anxiety. I am so excited. Let's go. spend the day together Me too. and I can't believe we're here in person. Yes, I know. Yay. It's so great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Lindsay, by the way. Hello. Channel Studio Lindsay. Please go check her out. I'll leave her in the description. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Today was such a lovely time. It was so wonderful to meet Lindsay and to get to spend the afternoon with her. I'm just so happy. It was, it was really such a dream come true to be able to make a friend through YouTube and then to get to meet her. Just like the cherry on top and I hope we'll hang out again very soon. While we were on Granville Island, I picked up a few books. The first book I got was I think I am in friend love with you. I just thought this book was so charming because I really do know the idea of being in love with a friend, not in a romantic way, just like pure friendship love. And I love how the book kind of captures it, but I think it's just so fun because it's like this little character is kind of feeling ashamed of their feelings for their friend and how much they just want to spend all their time with their friend and getting to know them. So I think it'll be a really great book and I do have a friend in mind to share this book with. And another little book I got is to give as a gift to a friend. She really loves children's picture books and I just found this one called Together. It talks about all kinds of different love and sharing love and I thought it would be a really sweet gift for her. And Lindsay was so kind enough to get me a book as well as we were browsing. She says she has a copy of this too. It's called Let's make ramen and it's an illustrated guide about how you can make ramen and all the components of ramen. This is like a soy egg. We were talking about how much we both love ramen and I think this is just the perfect gift to have to remember our time together this afternoon and our first meeting. We talked about our love of these like ramen eggs. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and maybe making some ramen recipes in the future. And I did successfully give her the little kitty cat charm and she opened it and read her fortune. So I think I'm going to go ahead and open mine too and read the fortune. So cute. Okay, let's see. So what I was expecting was that it would kind of just be like a little slip of paper, like a fortune cookie. But in actuality, it's like a, a long fortune with all these different components. So I'm gonna go through and read them now. And it also comes with like a little packet of flower seeds on the bottom so I can go ahead and plant those and plant my fortune if I would like. So let's see what it says. It says in love. Excellent. Accommodate your partner's taste. Okay, I will try and do that, I suppose. Health, very good and can live healthy. I like that. Study, I, I'm not studying, but who knows. Good, the result will be more than expected. Okay, travel, good travel plans will bring you wonderful times. Very positive. Social, okay, do not so good. Being a good listener will make a relationship better. Okay, noted, I will try to listen more. I thought I was a good listener, but I will, I will try harder. Money, good, expect an extra income. That's always nice. Wishes, come true by acting with honesty. I hope so. And finally, work, complaints could cause trouble. Um, yeah, I think complaints can cause <laughs> trouble in any situation. Well, that was fun. I don't have too many plans for this evening. Once again, it's probably just gonna be more cyberpunk, having some dinner, relaxing on this Sunday night before it's back to the work week. I just wanted to say thank you for spending some time with me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you left me a like. And if you wanna see more videos from me, more vlogs, writing content, anything that comes to mind, please subscribe. And I will see you again very soon, bye.